Good morning. And here we are on day 12 of the New Street Authors Advent Calendar. I'm back again. My name is Poonam Farmer. And so what is behind today's door? Or should I say whom? Today we are reading, we are talking about the Hooch Baron, Devon Coultry, from the Devon Coultry Saga, which itself is from the Peace Novella series. So here we are, here we have it. So what happens? Devon lands in Montana and there he spends his first Christmas. So how does it start? Let's have a look, shall we? And in the whole canon, in the whole series of Devon Coultry, there is only one Christmas story. It is supposed to be bright blue, asks Richard. He frowns as he watched Devon fight with acrylic feet. These were attached to a metal shaft. The shaft itself was covered in what looked like black, blue and green synthetic needles. In his hands, Richard held a dozen or so of faux Christmas tree that were colour coded at the end. The colours were also on the metal shaft and indicated where the boughs would sit to shape the tree. Yes, that it is, replied Devon. His knee clicked as he awkwardly knelt on the floor before the skeleton of his Christmas tree. Apparently, this is what a silver spruce is supposed to be like. He continued to fight with the acrylic feet as he made sure they were attached, that the whole thing was firmly planted onto the floor. Next to Devon's feet were several more branches. Placing his hands to a couple, Devon proceeded to slot them back into the main shaft. He glanced over his shoulder and beckoned for his father to do the same. Taking the hint, Rich started to slot in the branches. Devon's father fluffed out the faux foliage. Try saying that quickly to give the spruce its famed silhouette. Slowly but surely, the tree started to fill out. It looked quite imposing by the window to the lounge. This has to be, by far, the most trippiest Christmas tree ever, commented Richard as he teased out branches. My roof, Dad, said Devon. He rose to his feet and started to fluff out the foliage on the other side. So your rule, son, yes, conceded Richard. A wry smile danced across his face. You're entitled to have whatever slightly strange, off-kilter Christmas tree that you want and in the aforementioned abode. So what happens? There is turkey, there are tantrums, there is even some snow. But does Abithi, Devon's wife, turn up? Why don't I get your copy? I'll put the, the link somewhere in the WhatsApp majig and get your copy of Postcards from Peace, a Devon culture story from his saga in the Peace novella series.